Okay friends, I am on my way home from work currently, stuck in a little bit of traffic, but I figured I would go ahead and intro this video. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is going to be a come to the library with me, come library book shopping, I guess, with me. Um, I haven't been to the library in a while because I am currently trying to read all of the physical books that I own, but I am in need of just some good old fashioned retail therapy, but I don't need to buy any books. And one of my favorite things to do when I want to buy books is just go to the library because they are all free and I can just return them if I don't get to read them. So I am currently on my way to the library. It is a beautiful day here in Northern Virginia. So it's the perfect day to go to the library, grab some books, maybe read a little bit outside. I'm not looking for anything in particular, but I'm kind of in the mood for a thriller right now. I'm in the middle of a big fantasy book and I really just want something fast, like fast paced, um, something I can kind of whip through really quickly, maybe like a short story collection. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what strikes my fancy. So let's go to the library. I just attempted to take a thumbnail photo outside of the library holding my books up and they all fell so they're kind of all over the place but I got six if I could hold them up I got six books at the library today and as you can see not many people use my library so I have been able to get some really awesome books just on the shelves like not even had to put holds in. none of these were holds I just came and decided to get some books so let's see what I grabbed. I have really been into short fiction lately. So, you know, short stories, novellas, things like that. So I got a couple of those and we'll just, let's just get into it. The first thing I grabbed was The Fraud Squad by Kyla Zhao. Um, 
I don't know why, but this cover just really pulled me in and I thought it was really cute. I also am really interested in frauds. I am trying so hard, but it is got awfully hot in here. So we're just going to crack the door for a second. Okay. Anyways, this really just caught my attention. It looked super cute and I'm a sucker for a cartoon cover. So we're just going to pick it up, maybe read it. Next thing I have in this stack is actually Fight Club. I don't know why I felt like I should pick this up, but I saw it and it's short and I've never watched, isn't this a movie? I think it's a movie. Anyways, I've never read it or watched the movie if there's a movie and I just, why not? Why not? I don't know what it's about. It's about a fight club, I'm assuming. Okay. Next up is Samantha Schweblin's Seven Empty Houses. I know a lot of people are really into Samantha Schweblin, and I believe this is a short story collection. And it is translated by Megan McDowell. So I figured I would give her a go and see if she is something that I, an author that I'm interested in reading in, an author that I really like. I don't know. We'll see. But again, it's short. Next up is Gillian Flynn's Gone Girl. I just picked up the audiobook for this. I tried to read this before and it didn't really go well for me. I didn't get into it. So I'm trying it again because I'm kind of in a thriller mood right now. So we will see. I feel like everyone, there's a movie about this uh, or they're, they turned this into a movie and she's a chonker but everybody knows what the book is and i feel like really love even my boyfriend knows what the plot of this book is and i don't and i think that's kind of rude next up is a short story collection called entry level by wendy wimmer i picked this up actually i think a month or two back and never ended up reading it so i returned it but i saw it on the shelves again and it is something that really interests me i just love this cover and i think it's really interesting it's very eye-catching to me i love the play on like the entry level and the name tag but it is a collection of short stories i'm assuming by people who have entry level jobs and i short fiction people short fiction except for gone girl that thing's long as hell and last up, I got The Grown Up by Gillian Flynn. Again, you can tell she's a novella. She's a short story, whatever. But I found this right next to Gone Girl when I picked it up. And I figured it would be fun when I go home, I can read this and add a little bit of a reading vlog into this come library, sho library shopping, come to the library with me video. Those are the six books that I ended up getting at the library. So let's go home and maybe do a little bit of reading and see what I think about The Grown Up. Hi friends, so it is a little bit later and I have finished The Grown Up by Gillian Flynn. I'm gonna give this four, uh, 4.5, so I'll just be a four. Um, I really loved this book, but the end was kind of a brain teaser. I don't know, I feel like it was, it was pretty confusing. But this book is a short story, essentially. It's like 60 pages, if that, about a woman who is a con artist and it's a haunted house story. It is about who to believe, what to believe. The back just says, do you like ghost, or you like ghost stories, no do. You like ghost stories. And I think that really just perfectly sums it up. I. I'm so glad that I went into this not knowing anything. I don't really read synopses. 
and I think you should go into this not knowing much about it either. It took me, what, 30 minutes to read. Super quick, super easy, super fun, and I really enjoyed it. Just for giggles, I'm going to read to you one of my favorite lines in this book. Here's my favorite line of this whole book. Books may be temporary, dicks are forever. That's all you need to know before reading this. Anyways, I really enjoyed this and I really enjoyed going to the library today. Thank you so much for coming along with me. If you've read any of these books or saw any books that you loved, I would highly recommend that you go see if they're available at your library. I love my local library and I can get some amazing titles for absolutely free right when I want them from my library. So if you don't have a library card, get one. This is your PSA. Thank you so much for watching friends and I will see you in my next video. Bye.